hi guys welcome back to another video to jordan's world and um i really appreciate you for stopping by my channel and checking out my content uh today i want to go over a head unit here the belzy head unit for the 2018 to 2020 honda accord um currently this is a 2018 honda accord lx so I just wanted to give like a overview, my thoughts, impressions on the head unit. And um, of course, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It will help the channel out a lot. And uh, drop your comments, your questions in the, in the comment section below. And I'll answer as best as possible. power on the car here so the it's currently been about three months since I've had it installed in the car and so far I've had zero complaints um, it's one of the best aftermarket solutions for our, the 10th gen Accord and I think by far it's um, you know it really integrates with the car well um, I've had zero issues and basically it gave me options that the car didn't come with stock that's like the best part about it um, one of the features that came with it that the new Honda Accords came with is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto um, let's see here if, if it works as you can see here As you can see here, it works flawlessly. Um, the only reason it's lagging a little bit is because I'm using my iPhone to video right now. However, um, it's not as laggy in real life. Um, of course, wired is the faster way, which this car does support as well. Um, and go back here so of course when you buy a Belzy head unit this is how it will look this is the default launcher you can change any of these functions on either side to whatever you want it to be um, it's a shortcut for anything you want it can be the most used apps that you use on your daily commute um, you just simply hold and press and basically you can change the options right here on the navigation button um, so basically this is an Android head unit meaning now the options to do whatever you want is endless it's basically a tablet um, so basically you know you can download and install APKs of any app you want on the head unit and it will work um, of course, you know, when you're on the road and you're not at home, you just use your hotspot off your cell phone to do, you know, hotspot sharing so you can watch stuff like Netflix, which I do have on the head unit while you're on the go. Um, I do have Prime Video. I got AT&T TV as well, so I'm able to watch cable on the go. Um, I can control the cars, you know. The amplifier with the music sure. so it has an EQ you can balance it here you can do whatever you want this car is completely customizable with this head unit um, the sound quality is a hundred and ten percent better than stock um, because you have that increased ability to fine-tune your sound especially if you have a four channel amp to power your sub currently i have a 12 inch sub in the trunk and this head unit does phenomenal the sound is crisp um everything sounds great so we have like different things that you can do here so yeah, of course you can connect like a dash cam to your car and kind of route it through the head unit 
and record stuff that way we have chrome you can do car controls so what really sold me with this head unit is the fact that with these new cars the ability to change the car settings is embedded in the uh, factory radio so that was one of my concerns you know being able to change things um that the factory radio is able to change so i didn't lose any function so well in this version that i have we don't lose any function i can control everything the stock radio can control and more so for um one of the concerns in the forums is whether or not you know the bells your head unit can reset the tpms system and i personally have tried this before See if I can find it here. There we go. So that TPMS correction right there is basically what you tap on and it will get rid of the, it will start the calibration for the TPMS system. Because of course on our cars, we don't use actual TPMS sensors. We use speed sensors in the wheel. Um, so basically we can control that. You can control whether or not your car beeps at you when you unlock it, lock it. Security relock timer, the answer back. Um, whether when the doors lock light sensitivity auto light off you can reset trip a trip b you can do every single thing from here in the car control setting so you can even wire it to play dvds um, you can install your own uh, drive and have the car be able to watch dvds but people these days, we don't really use DVDs anymore. It's Netflix, Hulu, all that stuff. So as I said before, you can download it off of Play Store and the car will stream it seamlessly, depending on your data, of course. You can store files on here as well. Um, I'll get more into that later on. Uh, here we have here, you have Play Store um you can scroll down you can if you so choose you can install aftermarket tpms and the car will legit pull up the actual pressure in each tire um, so let's go into settings here as you can see the car comes with like 64 gigs onboard memory, um, which is a lot for a car radio. And I've, I'm only currently using 13 gigs, so not too bad. You know, you can connect to your home Wi-Fi from here. Uh, there we go. This basically shows you that you can literally do anything with this radio. You can change the launcher. You can add a wallpaper to this radio. You can do anything. Um, that's the best thing about it. Um, would I recommend this radio to anyone? 10 out of 10, yes. However, um, this updated version that I have in my car is different than some others I've seen on YouTube. Um, so, but I am not sure, 100% sure if you will still lose functions in your gauge cluster on the sport and up trims um i know on others video they have mentioned that they have lost maintenance minder and audio showing up in the cluster um, i'm not sure if that's the case however if you do own a 2018 to 2020 honda accord lx everything works nothing stops working um, the oem camera works it's not the best quality as you can see here it's not exactly the best quality um, but it does work the car itself everything works no weird stuff as you can see There's no, there's not, all of my stuff works. We have driver support still there, driver attention still there, maintenance minder, safety support. Shows you all the systems are on. 
our traffic sign, all that stuff is working. So as you can see, it's definitely a good buy. I do recommend. But thank you for watching this short video of my overview of the Belzy head unit for the 2018 to 2020 Honda Accord. If you do like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe below for more amazing content. Um, I'm getting real deep into this video. Um, this is my second video that I've uploaded on YouTube. So I hope my future videos will be even better. And see you next time.